Hi, this is Greg Schuler, and I'm going to give a quick screencast on how to add new nodes to a Rundeck project. I'm starting with the uh, Rundeck Anvils demo, which is a Vagrant based demo you can access from rundeck.org slash uh, downloads. It will give you a running Rundeck installation and a new project, but we're going to start with our own fresh project called Demo, and you can see that the First configuration item is the resource model source, which defines how to get the nodes um, from your environment into Rundeck. Uh, the default is to store them in an XML file called resources.xml, so we're going to leave that there. Um, you can also configure the SSH and SCP um, connection mechanisms. Create this project. Now under nodes, Rundeck will automatically include the uh, server node which is itself, um, but we're going to go and edit this resources.xml file to add a new node. So I'll go over to terminal. I'm going to edit this file. I'm going to add a new node entry and give it a unique name. This is what identifies the nodes to run day. I can organize my nodes using tags. So I'll say tag is demo. Um, specify the OS family is Unix. You can also specify Windows if it's a Windows node and you're using um, SSH or WinRM to connect to it. Then the other important parts are how to connect to the node. So the username specifies the SSH user to use, host name determines the address to connect to. This is my uh, other node that I have defined or that I have running. Now, if I just use this node, it's not going to connect successfully because uh, I need to specify a private key to use. The default private key um, configured for the project is listed here. If that's uh, correct, then you can you don't need to modify your node definition. But if you want to add uh, a new or a different private key, then you can use the SSH key path attribute. Now I have copied a key already to my Varlib Rundeck uh, directory called demo1.key. Um, so if we go back to my nodes tab, I can see the demo1 node already. Um, I can click this button to filter down just to this node. And if I look at the SSH key path, there's my key. So since I have this node selected, I'm going to say run a command on one node. Um, go high. Uh, I succeeded in executing, and you can say the other the name of the uh, operating system. So there you have a quick demo of how to add a node to your resources XML file. Um, there's other methods for getting nodes into the project. You can add a directory, which is also, which will scan a particular directory for more than one um, XML file or YAML file. You can specify other files. You can have a script that generates the XML or YAML, and you can also use a U URL to connect uh, to a, an external source, which may generate the the file. If you're using Amazon e AWS EC2, you can um, use an EC2 plugin that you can get from the Rundeck plugins page. That's a quick demo of how to add nodes to a Rundeck project. Thanks.